Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, um, first and foremost, pardon the disaster around here. My shop's a little bit of a mess. A um, couple things, it's hunting season and I'm trying to get geared up for that. I'm also projects on the go. Uh, but today's adventure is tuning up my Mustang GT decals on the 91 vert. Now, not the most riveting video. I'll be upfront and honest with you on that. However, I think there's a lot of foxes running around, specifically GTs, that have the body kit on them, either without the stickers, and that's actually a look in itself, okay? Right color and stuff looks pretty good. Um, in my case, well, this car's got a lot of colors going on in it, right? Uh, strawberry red top, it's kind of got the bronzy gray bottom. The interior's red, white, black. I mean, there's a lot of, and then the, obviously the black top, a lot of things going on. So, and this car had decals on it originally. I actually don't know if the car, some of the cars didn't come with decals or not. That's, uh, that information evades me. I, I don't know that information. I, I kind of assume that they all came with the decals and the cars that you see running around without decals on them just didn't come with them. But uh, anyway, I'm going back to the decals. Now, I told you guys in one of my previous videos that I, I ordered a set of these from LMR and they showed up incorrect. Uh, there was letters missing in the decal kit. And LMR, in true LMR fashion, came through and had me a new decal kit way up here in the Great White North in like three days. So thanks LMR. Anyway, here's our decals guys. Uh, this is the original kit and this is the new kit. Now, um, I'm not gonna bore you with putting all three decals, right? There's the two side skirts and then obviously the rear valance. I'll show you how I do one. Again, not rocket science, prep is everything. Like most adventure, uh, car adventures you go on, uh, make sure you got a good prep surface and that's gonna make everything following your prep that much better. So I'll get you down beside the car with me here guys and I'll show you what I do to go through to get this thing set up and uh, show you how to get these decals on there as straight as possible. Okay guys here's what I'm dealing with on the passenger side of the car you can see these decals have seen a better day they've lifted they've shrunk they've faded they're kind of a hazy black so get in there Try not to do any damage to your paint. Get underneath that decal and start lifting it out of there. You might need a pick of some sort or a set of tweezers to try to grab them. Just take your time, be extra delicate so you don't cause yourself more trouble than you need to and get these decals off. Okay guys, here's what we look like after the decals are off. I've actually got a little bit of an issue in here. Maybe one starting here and here too. But I guess the good part is that'll be behind the decal. Hopefully just keep an eye on it and make sure that this doesn't start walking its way down here. Not that this paint is, you know, 10 out of 10 or fresh paint or anything. I'm just trying my best to, to work with what I've got. So your next step's gonna be get yourself some isopropanol alcohol and put it, put it on a rag and then uh, just buff this area out, okay? So make sure you're getting all the little crooks and crevices of these letters decontaminate this whole area so your decals have the best opportunity they can have to stick to the paint. Now I'm going to do an extra step in here. I'm going to cut polish this real quick with my polisher um, just because I want to try to buff this out before I get the decals in there and then I'll do the extra step of uh, taking some alcohol to it and tidying it up to get any of the cut polish residue off of there before I put the decals on. So we're all cleaned up now guys and we're gonna get after putting the decals on. So now what I do here is I cut out each individual letter before I, I put them on. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the M. Now, it's personal preference I guess, however it is you wanna do this, but Obviously straight, as bang on straight as you can be, is key. So what I like to do 
is I like to try to give myself a flat, the flattest edge I can. So I try to cut real close to the, say, bottom of the decal in this regard. And that'll give me a good reference point to make sure that I'm getting this decal down into the bottom of this embossed area so I can be nice and flat and straight. And now some of these, the other little trick here is you, you don't really want to just stuff it in there. I mean, unless you're really good at aiming, stuff it in there, shove on it real hard. And actually, as I look at this, this little jagged part in the top of the M doesn't seem to want to line up with where everything else is straight. So for example, if I was to put this decal in this little jagged part, so that's there, you can see the bottom of my M right here would be off to the side. So what I may end up doing here is cutting this bottom section out and doing it by itself. So these decals, I mean, they're fairly precise, but I've found in the past that they're not exactly bang on. And I mean, now this is just, I'm a little bit over the top when it comes to this stuff. I Things that aren't straight drive me crazy. And I go to great lengths to make sure that they are because if I don't, I lose sleep. So anyway, I'm going to cut this out of here. And we're going to do this M in two parts. Okay. Leave a corner up so you can check and make sure how square you are. And then from there, you can start setting it into place. Now again, maybe try not to get too rowdy with it. You may have to reset the decal one more time. There we go. So now, some of these are a little trickier than others. For example, the A can give you a little bit of grief. The G's are a little tricky too, but just take your time, try to get them as square as possible. My rule of thumb is always, if it looks good from two inches, it's gonna look great from six feet versus if it looks good from six feet, it'll look good from 10 feet. So take your time. Drop each letter on individually, get them nice and squared up, 
and like I say don't push too hard when you're first setting them in because you may have to come back readjust and go back in there and then yeah just take your finger and push all the bubbles out of them Okay guys, there's Deckles 101. Uh, I won't bore you with doing the driver's side. You've seen the passenger side kind of soup to nuts. Yeah, again, it's it's not the, the easiest endeavor. I mean, it could be, I guess, if you just wanted to give her the old bang, stick them on there, but I like things to be nice and straight and tight, and if they're off just ever so slightly, it drives me crazy, so um, yeah. OCD. If you got OCD, that's the lengths that you need to go to. So this was probably like total maybe a 40, 35, 40 minute process to do one. So you're looking at, I don't know, call it two, two and a bit hours if you want to take your time and go slow and prep like I did to do all three. But yeah, that's how you put your decals, your Mustang GT decals on there. And as you can see, it really freshens up the car. I'll give you one more quick look at it here from a distance. Pulls things together, especially, I, I forgot to mention this, but yeah, this car's got the black stripe around it. so. Black top, black stripe, black decals, kind of pulls everything together. So anyway, guys, I uh, hope this helps some of you out there. By all means, if you've got any questions, please hit me up. I will do my best to get back to you and answer those for you. And thanks for watching, as always. Take care, guys. See you on the next one. Bye for now.